Welcome back to the arena. In this episode we're going to take a look at how MGL conducts fundraisers, and how she claims to make her money. The clips you're about to see are from a stream that was two years ago, mixed with new info. We're going to look into several sources throughout this. I would love to hear your perspective and thoughts after this if you would please leave them in the comments. Also, I've been receiving numerous emails asking about a cash app. I have not set those up as of yet, but if you wish to leave me a tip for my work, there is a button that says thanks, with a dollar sign inside a heart. That button acts exactly as if you were giving a super chat in live streams. All tips will be put back into the channel to provide you with even better quality and live streams that are coming soon. Thank you in advance to anyone who is gracious enough to tip me. I am just saying that... You're not gonna like what you see in this video, probably. So this video is called How to Make Livable Earnings on YouTube. So, uh, you start a YouTube channel, okay? You never know where it's gonna go. What it's gonna, everybody has these high hopes and, uh, or some people just want to get their feet wet and see where it goes. But was it for your freaky deaky wife, Melissa Shearer, man? I wouldn't have my channel. Some people come on with a purpose. Some people come up with just great ideas. Some have massive skills. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to talk about what to expect as far as money and what to do to get started. I get asked this all the time. Uh, don't know why. Um, I'm not a big channel at all. I only have. 30,000 subscribers. Ali Golayla should have more subscribers than just 30,000 if she's been doing this for two years. Okay, so that proves that I do not buy subscribers because yes, if you do buy subscribers, you are only cheating yourself. You definitely didn't garner thousands of subs over the last two months on your own. Let's note that most of the days she influxes, she had no content during those periods to bring people to her channel. It's also quite interesting that since her two strikes for violating YouTube's terms of service, her number is showing its first loss of subscribers. It's going to be telling how those numbers reflect each day, now that the account is on suspension and no funny business can be had. So, let's say that you have a special talent, like interest that you have or knowledge that you have, or you're just a very opinionated person. Melissa, uh, you suck, dude. I you're a lousy lay. <laughs> um, you decide to start a YouTube channel. Number one, you have to find out what your niche is. I do not have a niche channel. I, my algorithm is all over the place. I got your number, you big ass tree trunk. I'm telling you. Um, I will never ever be a successful YouTuber with like 3 million subscribers. That's never ever gonna happen. And I'm okay with that. Oh my God, I have 692 subscribers. You guys, please, 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 uh, please, please, please. If you guys can get me to a thousand right now, please, please, please. So number one, you want a niche channel. I do not have a niche channel. I have topics that I've covered that range over maybe five, six hands. So I have talked about true crime. Please take notice of how much she made off this baby's birthday. I have talked about celebrities. I you get a chance with Nick Hardy. Go hard. Talk about beauty. I've Many, many, many different things. Get your ass out here. I need you. Come on, lady. They're okay. I don't think I'll ever do the pot roast again. That was the most bland I have ever tasted in my freaking life. And and I can't believe that you passed on the fried chicken. Had to sit and think about it for about two weeks when I had this young man looking at my channel, and he said, "Whoa!" He was like. Right now, your channel doesn't really know where to go. So as far as suggested, it's going to come up very, very low. He goes, but if you stick to one topic, it's going to go up. So a man that I've been watching for a long time called um, Officer Tatum. He sticks to the point. He's very on key. He does not stop. He barely looks at the chat. 
and he censors himself with the cursing and he censors himself and he, he knows what he's doing up there. And if you watch his chat, he gets super chats of maybe around five, 6,000 a night. The longer he stays on, it goes. What do you all think she retained from what she just said? My opinion is this. The money part is the only thing that she stuck to. Let's be honest. She's only doing this video for the money. She didn't care about anyone growing a successful channel. She showed who she was from the very beginning. If you're not giving them true entertainment or you are not giving them knowledge that they never thought or that you're speaking for them, we give to this Officer Tatum because he's speaking the truth for us. Now, right now, YouTube is so um, all over the place. And especially with my channel, this is very, very interesting. I'll never get the traffic that other channels will get. Could it be because you act like this? Tell us where the f that baby is. Here's a bat. She's not telling her, hit her with a f bat. Stick the bat of her. Find out where this f***ing baby is. Where the f that fucking baby is. baby. I'm also okay with the fact that I don't rely on YouTube money for my livelihood. Oh, you were really trying to snowblow them back then, huh? You've proven that time over time to be a complete lie. Can explain the money part, okay? What many people don't know, up until this year, they do not pull, you're not, you'll get a 1099 and you have to pay taxes on that money. This year, they're going to be taking the taxes out. That's the way it's going to be. And, and I prefer that. I prefer that. Because, and the thing is, my husband does taxes, so it's, it's, it's easy for him to. And, but guess what? You get to write off your, you know, your mics, your computers, you get to, and you want to know something for me? If I do, if I take a trip to anywhere, Amsterdam, Key West, I get to write off that trip because I went there with the intention of making a video. So I get to write it off. So always remember that, that they are a tax write-off. Not for nothing, but if there is anything that she does know, it's how to get over people and obtain free things. In my opinion. If you think I'm going to I'm going to quit my job and just live off of YouTube. Well, mm, yeah. I would say take things very, very slowly. Um, I'm going to quit my job because I, I want YouTube to pay out. I would take that very, very, very slowly and wait a while, but always have it in the back of your mind, right? I always have it in the back of your mind that you're, it's not okay. It's just not okay because the censorship that has been going on since, hold on, I don't want to say it. Because if I say certain words, my video will not be monetized. Okay, Cussing can bring down your violence. All these things can bring down your money income so you really have to be alert on what you are putting out there there's no excuses she knew full well what she's been doing is wrong and against terms of service she apparently didn't care anymore because she had gotten away with each step further she took in my opinion can we also address the fact that she has see-through clothing with a black bra on i don't understand what makes her think people want to see this she's almost 50 and looks like she hasn't bathed to me, it appears that she's always tried to sexualize herself to get anywhere. So if you have a channel that's devoted to pugs or devoted to cooking, you can't be all over the place like I am. It's never going to work. But like I said, for myself, what would make me happy? Well, I just want to talk about things that I want to talk about, period. Me, 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 me. There you have it, folks. It doesn't matter what the people watching like. It's all about her. There are some great channels. You got you got to look, but you really have to find someone that entertains you, that knows how to talk to people. That's probably the best thing that I have to offer is that I know how to talk to people. So you want to know something? The only thing you twist it around is no one will ever trust you. And you want to know something? There's a reason you don't have friends in real life. And that's why I said to you today, you're, you're alone and you're going to stay that way. So, say you really want to think about leaving your job or blah, 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 blah. Listen, if people are super chatting you $3,000 a night, go like this and say, thank you, God. She uses religion to not only make people think she's righteous, but she also uses it to weaponize. Here's her true feelings when asked about morals by one of her subscribers. Against many religions. Well, guess what? I'm a Scientologist. Doesn't matter. I thank every single person that has done that and be very, very grateful that you're making that kind of money because it does not mean that it's going to get bigger and bigger. And it doesn't mean that these donors are going to keep on giving you 10, 20, 50, $100 every single time they come in. It's, it's just not going to happen. Hey, how about this? Molly Golightly does a shot of alcohol for 20 bucks a tip. Just remember, 
the more kid friendly, the more apple pie it is, the more opportunities you are going to get to promote products. Uh, you're going to get products showing up at your door from all over the place. You're going to have fitness. I've had the 310 shakes treat me so beautifully. Water companies, beauty, uh, everything. Uh, you name it. Half of the stuff I get is free. Nothing to see here, folks. Now, I have like a 92% women uh, subs or women are subscribed to me. So, of course, beauty and health products and all the, all the like are going to reach out to me and say, hey, we can promote my products. You will get products. You will get money. You will get percentages. You'll get things to give away. And it, it is nice. It is nice. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. So, in order for you to make a livable wage, how much do you need to live on in America? Well, of course, it depends on your ge geographics, right? Where do you live? Do you live in New York City or do you live in the bottom of uh, Alabama? Okay? The bottom of Alabama? Her and her stereotyping has always been an issue I see. She could have easily said a rural town. I take offense to the fact that she's targeting a geographical area that she's probably never even been to. Just my opinion. For me, for me, if I was a single mother living with my child in Pennsylvania, I would have to pay my rent, my utilities, my phone, my car, my gas, food, everything. How much do you think that would cost? About 7000 correct? A month? 7000 a month? Come on now. That statement proves she doesn't pay any of her household bills and has no clue what it takes to be a single mom. A single mom doesn't have to have a mansion. 7000 a month is so far-fetched and a single mom can make it work with a fraction of that. She's oblivious and ridiculous. Right? 7000 a month? Last night I gave the last super chat to Eritrea and I'm done. Sorry. I'm sorry. Country's going. I gotta save my money for gas and stuff. Sorry. All of us should be, uh... You know, so about $7,000 a month it would cost for me and Jake to live if I was a single mother, right? Okay. Yeah, well, I live in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania, and uh, I would have to really move to the outskirts because Hershey, Pennsylvania is like, you know, Hershey, Pennsylvania is a little bit woody. There she is on that high horse again. I pulled these up this morning. All in Hershey. These prices are actually lower than where I live. I'm sure many of you wish prices were like this where you live. We'll give her an average of 1500 for housing. Why does she need 5500 more for power and food? And these are prices now. This was two years ago that she needed 7000 when things were much cheaper than now. In my opinion, she doesn't have a clue how to adult. So suppose I put this video out and maybe gets, who knows how many views it's going to get. You never know, okay? I have videos ranging from 700 views up to 400,000 views, maybe half a million. Maybe 700. I think I did make seven. I, I, I've come short of a million. Um, this is her only video that ever hit over 500k. And this was after the stream we're reviewing right now. Her next highest was this one for 252k. The rest are below 50,000. These were both in 2020 when everyone was home due to the C word. For a six year span, I'm really not impressed considering all the topics she's pulled from. Also, prior videos that I made where a lot of you have found me. I don't need to make any videos right now because I'm collecting money off those videos that I made two years ago. So I'm just sitting back. I don't feel like I need to go and make a video every 20 minutes. Do you ever really, like I have a business where I do make money and I have a husband that makes a good amount of money that puts, my husband puts us in the upper middle class. So for me, he just looks at me as, oh, it's just a little hobby of ours. No, I like what I'm doing. I like connecting with people. And that's, that's the magic thing is connecting with people. Listen, people are going to love you and people, people are not going to, they can, they're not going to be able to stand you. If, they're, if they, or if they can't stand you, all right. Thank you, Mara. If they can't stand you, they're not going to watch you. If they hate you, they're not going to subscribe and watch your videos. I promise you. The people that hate watch, they are your biggest fans. They're the ones that give it a thumbs down as soon as you go live. I can tell she never became famous because her perception of a hater versus a fan is all convoluted. Anybody notices, my videos have gotten shorter. Okay, the magic number is four minutes. The magic number is 10 minutes. I have now gone over 20 minutes and this has gone a little too long, but I'm going to keep going anyway because it's fine. It's fine. I, I, the money doesn't really, really... Do I do it for the money? Yeah, that's why I'm still around. Now, a lot of people... So, so they did a live last night that I popped into the Glarus channel. Shout out to the Glar! I popped in and there was this guy who he and his husband decided to tell their community, I don't, I don't know if it's a true crime or a drama community, but they had to take a leap and off himself. Off himself. <laughs> Thank you, Tuesday. I think the Glar guy, I think that his channel, I don't have time to watch it, but if it pops up, I always click it, give him the view, and give him a nice like just to show support. I do that to many, many people. I can't sit through it, but I just it's because I don't have time. But this is the thing. He knows how to talk to people. There's another guy. I helped him get to 1,000. In, in one live, we helped him get to Mexi. Subscribe to a guy named Mexi. Uh, if you want to put his link in there, with the Blair's link, go right ahead. They know how to talk to people, and that is why they are doing well. God bless both of those gentlemen. You cannot sit there and argue with your chat. You cannot, and then, let's get back to theirs. Um, <laughs> listen, he had over 1,000 people in his live last night, and that's everybody's goal.
I'm going to go first. That's okay. Evans. <laughs> yeah. Really? Did you see that? Did you see that? That was her son. Apparently he's never been allowed to interrupt her, and obviously was bored sitting there staring at walls because he has to be quiet. She ran her own son off too, in my opinion. Like my husband said a year ago, he goes, all these little tiny channels that are not, that have just garbage on it, are all just gonna drop off. People are gonna wake up and, and see that they don't have a channel. And it's because it's gonna be useless to them. This. I get none of my family around. They're not even in the house and they're already jumping up. I wish I could have like a way to tip of the camera on me. He just walked by. I can't. So I'm on my keto diet and it's driving me nuts. I'm just saying, if only tomorrow will be a week and it's driving me a little gay. I don't know if you ever tried it. I was always against it, but I was like, let me actually try it to see how my body reacts to it. So I just want to see how my body reacts to it. It's not a long-term thing. If you want to make money, the ads that pay the most are ads on money-making channels. Stocks, finances, people teaching you about money. So in other words, that's the reason for making this. Her title was how to make money on YouTube. It wasn't hard to figure out that she didn't care about helping anyone else succeed. She thought this was going to be a money maker for her. LOL. My husband, all right, so my husband, you guys know, is like a money guy. Well, there's like an incentive thing that he has for his job. With it. So anyway, he can pinpoint where we can basically get Starbucks forever for free. Certain times, certain points, certain this and that, all these different incentives. And he has it down to a science. The scamming never stops, I guess. She just said Mr. Bean has it figured out how to get all their Starbucks drinks for free. Shaking my head. <laughs> yeah, my husband's um and is the master. I mean, he's got it down to science. <laughs> Wait, we don't have to pay for Starbucks. It's crazy. And sometimes he surprises me. You're making around three, four thousand dollars a month on YouTube. If that money stick. What I do is I put it in a separate account in New Jersey. My YouTube money goes straight to New Jersey. I don't know what's in it, and there's always a goal. There's always a goal with that money. I don't just take it out and 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 I just don't. There's always got to be a goal with it. I don't depend on it. Um, what I what I what I do depend on is my the money that I make on my coaching. That is what I depend on. And even that for me, I'm just like any other small business where the times right now it can either go boom 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 boom. Now here's the dangerous part of YouTube: you never actually know when they're going to demonetize your videos, or someone's going to report you, and everything's going to be gone. Really? Okay. You can get reported. And if you get that right person that's not having a good day, your whole channel will be gone. Don't depend on YouTube money. Just don't depend on it. Um, I would never depend on it as a solo income. I would be scared to death every single day. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if I was to get divorced next month or something and I was on my own with my husband, yes, I would still life coach and do something else on the side and still do my YouTube videos. I'd probably have to use all my savings just to freaking live, you know, especially around here. So just remember that... You may get super chats a lot in the beginning, but it's always going to dwindle down. And right now, everybody should be holding on to their money right now. Okay? Uh, things are happening. Um, just so you know, every word that comes out of my mouth is going through a filter. Like one big, like, Brita filter. And they're going to see if I'm cursing, if I'm talking about this, 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 and that. That's why things with true crime, you have to really be careful. So anyway, that was it. That's all I have to tell you. Don't depend on it. Toughen up. And don't get caught up in all the BS. Um, just do your own thing, mind your own business. Wait, does this sound good? Oh my god, it looks like an enormous dick. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jeez, hey, I said there might be a dildo at the door. <laughs> okay. I was totally trying to take YouTube seriously. At this point, I don't even care. What does bother me though is the fact that not one person in the past two weeks that I've had these gorgeous new lamps has even said anything about them. Oh, wait, you know, um, Kimberly's singing Shanann's birthday today. Did you know that? Happy birthday, Shanann Watts. Let me guess, you don't have to go on live to uh, blow out some candles on a cake, right? No. You got a picture of Shanann and the kids, and you're going to put candles in it and be like, happy birthday to you. That's blasphemy. Hey, you. Oh. I want to put it past some of these people, though, on YouTube. I mean, they are taking this whole thing with Shanann Watts to another level. They really are. So now we know where you got the idea for Summer's birthday. You already had it conjured up in your head to do it to the next one you could. Sick. This next convo is not Mr. Bean. After hearing it, it's no wonder to me why he jetted. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go hop in the shower and rub Irish spring all over my body. Are, are you going to rub one out and think of me? You keep saying you will yeah, never I do it. But you keep saying that you're going to do it and you never do. No, but, but wait, if my nude picture is in your bathroom, how come that didn't work? What do you mean? How come that didn't work? Well, you know what I need to do? I don't know, but you know what I need to do is I need to put your picture in a frame because I take really steamy showers. So you're oh. going to work. Uh, I guess I'll have to... Uh, 
Maybe I'll have to send you a pillow. And you can use it. You can pull the panties off the pillow and fuck it. <laughs> okay, I'll try that. Do you think you can get off? We'll give it a shot. It's worth it. Do you have a husband that says? Let's go do Yes! I learned absolutely nothing about a channel on YouTube, but there were some other revealing parts we saw. What I really wanted to do is showcase where the large portions of the money comes from and it's not cash apps. I very distinctly recall her yelling a couple months ago about another creator who did a fundraiser with monies going directly to them. She specifically said that you never do a fundraiser unless every bit of the money went straight to the cause during the event. Well, Let's take a look at her fundraisers. Did she pocket any money? Has she been truthful that she received nothing for each fundraiser because it went straight to them? It's my understanding that her first one may have not been set up to do so but all others after we're. As I think back at what she's done to other creators for doing such, I'm curious to see.